Etsy listing video today, simply and easily in Canva. Now, if you haven't used Canva before, it's a design software that's completely online. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually use it to edit video, and it's kind of the perfect tool for what we'll be doing today. So if you go to canva.com, you can go to the main page, and you can either search video or you can click on this little video icon, and you'll see there are many different options down here. You can just do a video editor, which is what we're going to do. But if you end up doing any audio video, like videos with audio, you can do some editing to the beat, or you can remove the background. There's lots of extra things that you can do. But just for an uh, Etsy listing video, we're gonna stick with this video editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and it may take a second here to load. And whenever you get this video editor, it always set, starts with a five second page is what that's called. this is called. But it's kind of like a clip, it's a five second clip. Now Etsy listing videos are only 15 seconds long. So unless you have an actual video clip, I think five seconds is a little bit long to start out with your first um, page here. So I'm gonna take it down to about, I'm gonna say one and a half which seems really short, but in video, it's really not that short, especially for a 15 second listing video. So I'm gonna start out here with just a regular size video. If I had images of my mock-ups, um, or if I had video that I had taken, I can upload this to put into my video just by going to the upload tab over here, and then I can click search for those and then upload those. Today, just for um, example purposes, I am going to be using just the elements that are on Canva. So I'm going to go into elements here and I'm just gonna search for the photos that they have to put into my video just for your example today. Now, what I like to do um, is I like to center whatever images that I'm gonna be using. And the reason that I do that is because if I wanted to resize this video later to use it on Instagram Reels or any other social media, I could do that without having to change it around a whole lot. So I'm gonna go in and pick the grid option here. And I'm just gonna go with the one grid, the single grid, and I'm gonna take that down to a square. So I want that to be 1080 by 1080. There we go. And then I'm going to position that in the center. Now I'm also going to add a background. So I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna search background and click maybe, it's kind of a boring background, but It'll work for our purposes today. And oop, make sure that it doesn't go into your grid because that's easy to do. And I'm gonna set it here and again, click position and put it to back. Okay, so I am ready now to get started. Um, and again, this is going to be best, this, this style of video is going to be best for people who have just um, still images of their products. Now, a lot of you would say, why is it important to have like a slideshow or a video of the still images of my products when they're already um, the images that are already in my listing? Um, well, there's a couple of reasons why. When you search for items on Etsy, you are going to see um, the still photo that is the first listing photo or the first listing slide on your Etsy listing. Um, but for those people who have video, which is only about 30% of the listings on Etsy, those people, their video is also going to start showing. And if you've ever been distracted by something moving out of the corner of your vision and you just had to look at it, um, that's kind of the benefit of video. If you've got a moving picture, people are much more likely to just be distracted visually and look toward um, that video. So um, if you have a video in your listing, you're much more likely to get people to see what you've got. So I'm just gonna look up some images, images here of people in t-shirts to kind of give you an example of how you can build a very quick video 
just with your listing photos. So here I have my first page that I've created. And then I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this. So these uh, three little dots here, I'm going to click and duplicate page. And now I can click another image and just drag that over until it fits into my a grid that I've created there and then duplicate this page and do that again and duplicate page and do that again you guys get the idea so however many um, images here I'm gonna do a, a um, sorry uh, lay flat here there we go Oh, actually, though, I'm going to take that out because I don't want something without a background. So I'll just do that. <laughs> These are li literally this company has the most boring T-shirts ever, uh, whatever company I'm representing here. But you guys get the general idea. And then I will do just one more time. Let's see. Duplicate page. And you kind of want to think about your time here. So I've got one and a half, three, four and a half, six, uh, seven and a half, nine. So 10 and a half seconds here. And again, 15 seconds is the maximum amount that you can have with video in Etsy. So I'm going to duplicate this last page and I am going to delete my grid. And I'm going to go back into grids again. So let's take this out and scroll down here to grids. And I'm going to look... I'm just going to go ahead and pick this three across grid and size it down and I want this to be centered. I'm going to kind of move it up a little bit and then I'm going to use this last page as an opportunity to kind of highlight my branding. So I'm going to put my company, so I'm going to call this t-shirt company. And then let's add a subheading, make that a bit bigger. Let's see, specializing in boring shirts <laughs> because these shirts are very boring. Um, and then, you know, I could have my URL for my shop here. I could have, you know, blah, 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 blah. You get the gist. So you can put however many um, different types of text you want in there. Um, try to not overdo it on text because obviously it's not going to be on the screen for too long. And um, people, are, we're selling visual things. People are visual um, when they're trying to pick out what they want. Um, but you still want to have kind of the basic information for your company in there. Now, I just put the same um, pictures that I had here in this last slide, but ideally for you, you want to use this as an opportunity to maybe put like three different types of things that you sell in your store. So if you mostly do t-shirts, but then you do mugs and um, maybe, um, I don't know, towels. I don't know why I thought of towels, but mugs and towels or whatever as well. You could put those images on this last slide and that would entice people then to maybe go and check out some of the other things that you have. Um, so kind of hopefully that would be just something you could put at the end of every single video that you do and you wouldn't change this slide. You could just go in and create, copy this video for every listing you have and go in and just change the images and leave this last image the same. So if we go back to the beginning now, and this actually, sorry, I'm talking a mile a minute here, but um, on this last one, we can extend this out a little bit. So I think we were at 10 and a half, so then that's 12. Um, seconds total so then I can extend this out just a little bit more so now we're at 13 seconds because um, I put this one at two and a half so now if I go back to the beginning I hit the play button you can see that is my video it's super boring right now but um, it does have movement in it enough that it will kind of catch the eye of whoever is scrolling through 
all of the listings. Now we can add even more movement without having to add video as well. And we can do that by adding animation. So if I wanted to go in here, I could click on this particular um, photo and I could animate it. I could also add some text. So I could click here with some text, again, add like a heading and maybe put um, all 100, or let's see, 100% organic cotton and have that kind of go up here. And then I could animate that and have that pan in. I mean, you, if you kind of hover over each of these animations, you can see how that is um, animated in the video. It's kind of a little preview there for you. And then I could also click in between each of these pages and add a transition. So the transition, I'm gonna go with flow here just because I'm just going quickly to show you the example. So now let's go back to the beginning and start again. And we've got each of these slides kind of moving a little bit more. So again, with each of the slides, I could, I'm just gonna go back to this one, click on this, do a Command C to copy, go to this one, Command V to paste, and then I could put um, unisex oops, sizing or gender neutral sizing, however you wanna phrase that. And maybe I move it down here and it's got the animation that was on the last one, but maybe I wanna change that, maybe I wanna do this one, okay. And then again, put another transition. Uh, there we go. Okay, go back to the beginning. So you get the gist. You can be as creative with this as you want. And just adding that little bit of movement is going to increase the viewability of your listing so much. And it just gives you an extra opportunity for branding here at the end. Now, the great thing about this too is let's say you have an Instagram page and you're trying to create a lot of Instagram reels. Well, you can take this very video and if you have a pro account in Canva, you can go up here to Magic Switch and go down to Social Media, Instagram Reel, click that and continue. And it'll take a second here, but then you can copy and resize. I'm gonna open this up. And now the entire video that I made is now sized for Instagram Reel. Now, it is not perfect. You can see that my images are kind of small now. I can expand those out, enlarge them here, scale them. Um, and then position those as I want to. Um, but because I kept most of my images in a square in the center, um, it's easy enough to switch to this style of video without losing a lot of my image by cropping. So if I go back here now and play, I can still have a nice video that can go into my Instagram Reels um, once I enlarge some of those images and I don't have to worry too much about the fact that it, it you know, won't fit or anything like that. I can expand this text. I, can, I don't have to do a whole lot of editing, um, but I can do a little bit to make it just look a, a, that much better. Um, hopefully today this has given you some ideas about how you can edit video quickly with just some of the shots that you have for your listing in Etsy. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.